What is up, everybody? To my first TV here today. So I just did a video about the subject where Phil Spencer spoke with the people and developers behind Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy games, Yoshi P and Kiryu San, and he made the big announcement that Final Fantasy 14 is coming to Xbox. Here's a clip, just in case you see my earlier video. We deeply respect the rich legacy of Square Enix, mm. and we look forward to building on the relationship that we've established in bringing Final Fantasy XIV to Xbox and partnering closely with you and the Square Enix team on future games. So that is pretty big news. A big Final Fantasy, big game like Final Fantasy XIV MMORPG is coming to Xbox after over a decade, which most people thought this was never, never possible at this point. And he's also working closely on bringing other future titles to Xbox as well. That's Final Fantasy. We don't know if those will be the big ones like Final Fantasy VI, 16 or Final Fantasy VII Remake. We don't know for sure, but just I was doing a video earlier, I thought it was just wholesome. Like, there was just a whole bunch of Xbox, Xbox fans happy about this. There was nobody really salty about this. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> there was people definitely salty about this. And I bring you this guy right here. This Sony fanboy was super butthurt and bitter and salty as hell that Xbox fans get to play this game. So this is the statement that he made about this. The most vocal Xbox fans, who are mad at Square Enix, won't touch this just like they didn't touch Crisis Core. <sighs> this is such a false equivalency, because Crisis Core is a sequel or a prequel to the Final Fantasy VII franchise. So if you don't have Final Fantasy VII Remake on the Xbox platform, then why would you want to play Crisis Core? It makes no sense. As like you keep PlayStation decided to keep uh, Final Fantasy Remake on their platform and then give Xbox the hand-me-downs, like the throwaway ones that nobody really wants. The main one people want is Final Fantasy VII Remake. So it's like, of course people are not going to buy Crisis Core in droves because you don't got Final Fantasy VII Remake with it. That's just obvious. But he blames Xbox fans for not buying Crisis Core when you don't got the main dish. Yes, give us the appetizer, but not the main course. It's like, really? Who's going to support that nonsense? But he's blaming Xbox fans for this. It's like, really? And it's like, how do you know Xbox fans won't play this game if we have the option to play it on our, on our platform of choice? It's just fascinating. <laughs> Phil's supposed to make this big announcement of people are already salty saying, you guys won't even play it. It's like, really? Jeez. And then he doubles down. On this narrative, it says Xbox dudes who already pay a monthly yearly subscription, and y'all think they're about to pay another subscription just for one game, especially in MMO LMAO. But I'm wrong for putting that out. Why am I wrong for putting out reality, man? GTFO. <sighs> I think most people are kind of already pretty much settled in on paying for uh, uh, the membership for uh, Game Pass at this point, paying for online membership. So, it's like adding another subscription for this one game. I don't see why that's like a big stretch. Like, you mean to tell me people don't got multiple subscriptions for like Spotify or Netflix or Hulu? People don't got multiple subscription services? So, is he trying to tell me? So, and most people just use these subscription services, it will be Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus for one show anyway, mainly if one big show comes out. So, it's not that big of a stretch, but he says it's just impossible. Xbox gamers would not do this. I was like, you don't know Xbox gamers. It's just, it's just, it's just insanity. You could think you could speak for all behalf of all Xbox fans. It's just craziness right here. So, let's see what people have to say about this nonsense. Uh, cope. <laughs> I think this is pretty much copium by this point, like this guy pointed out. Damn, you are just bitter as hell, shaking my head. And I love how he just argues back with everybody in the comment section who calls him out on his BS. If you're seething about losing another exclusive, which is like, would you want more people to play this game that's highly critically acclaimed? But nope, you can't just, you just can't have a, can't have a good thing. <laughs> Has to make it negative. Crisis Core was kind of low to average by today's standard. Final Fantasy XIV, on the, on the other hand, is critically acclaimed blockbuster title. In my opinion, one of the top 20 games of all time. Show me on the doll where Square Enix hurt you. <laughs> uh, the greatest Final Fantasy, in my opinion. If they don't play this, they're not playing any of them. 
Yeah, people said this is one of the greatest Final Fantasy games ever made, which is a great, uh, a great, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Accolade at this point, because a lot of people probably haven't played this game because it's an MMO, so... I don't see how this is a bad thing. We're, this is getting opened up to more people. Like, how is it a negative? How do you spin this into a negative? Like what this guy says, I'm kind of grand. Like, someone sounds a bit bitter. He definitely sounds bitter. <laughs> Which, I don't know. <laughs> they really get mad when Xbox gamers get access to more games. And it doesn't hurt them whatsoever. But they really get mad about it for whatever reason. But why would people want Crisis Core when that's not a mainline title, nor if it's nor if it's one of the people want it? Yes, people were clamoring for Final Fantasy VII remake. People were getting excited, shouting to the heavens about Final Fantasy VII remake. They didn't do the same to, for Crisis Core, so that's a, a terrible, a terrible comparison right there. Why would someone play Crisis Core when Square One released Final Fantasy VII remake? Same thing I said. It doesn't make any sense, but the Sony fanboys, it makes sense. <laughs> This is like once again, who eats the who eats the appetizer with no main course? It's like no one. Give them seven remake or sixteen and see if they touch it. Y'all are really trying to y'all are really trying to Xbox players. Oh, okay, I think you're trying to say y'all really trying to blame Xbox players for not touching side games or MMOs. Not everyone likes MMOs. Give them the real legal legal crap. This is like saying they won't touch Little Caesars but want Pizza Hut Coke on obvious on one better son. Okay. Uh, my guy, they didn't play Crisis Core because they didn't get to play the game it spun from, which is so obvious to the average person. <laughs> that should be pretty obvious for the average person. Uh... Them boys ain't gonna play the game at all. It's just fascinating how they have a crystal ball and you just know the future about Xbox gamers. The Xbox gamers just won't play these games, according to these Sony fanboys. Uh, the amount of bitterness and butterness is through the roof. It's like, geez. I thought this was gonna be an entire, like, wholesome event where people get to play this game, but it's just, there's so many bitter people in the comment section. Like, geez. Uh, let's see. Xbox dude here. Yes, yeah, some of us will because we love to play it on our preferred platform. They just don't understand that concept that just because some of us have PlayStations don't mean we want to play on PlayStation. We just forced to play on PlayStation. Like, if they, like, I, I just don't understand why they don't get it. <laughs> like, people rather play the games even though they've been out for a while on, on the platform because they prefer to play it on. It's not that difficult of a concept to understand. Some of us are already paying that sub, so it doesn't really matter where it's tied to. Yeah, a lot of people are just playing, are just going to pay for the online subscription anyway. So I don't see why he thinks it's such a stretch. People are going to pay for the online subscription and this subscription as well. So it's not that big of a stretch. Um, people that have Netflix but never also get Hulu, Spotify, Max, Paramount Plus, or Disney Plus. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much like saying the same thing at that point. Um, if they really want to play it, they could have played over the 13 something years the game has been out. He's obviously talking about casuals who are not straight up Final Fantasy fans, and even most Final Fantasy fans are on PlayStation, anyways. The point is that there's just going to be a small minority playing. I don't agree with that statement. I don't agree with that statement because. Sure, you could have known about the franchise, you could have known about the game, which you not your interest has not really been peaked, but now they make an announcement coming to your preferred platform, which is getting all the bells and whistles like a faster load time, better visuals, better controls, and of course it's gonna be more interesting. That's for example like these remakes that they constantly do. It's like people probably haven't played the original game, but it's been out for a while, and they announce a remake, then people get excited for the remake, even though they haven't played the original game, so uh, so it's kind of a stretch that these people are making saying that hey they could have always had access to play these games but nope it's like once they announce it to a new platform or new system there's always the people who haven't played the game before it's going to play it now so uh xbox players be partying like an mf or when a studio finally acknowledges them and gives them some 10 year old leftovers the xbox player base stays being second class citizens <laughs> oh man that's like 
what, what do you even say to this? Like, Sony's been money had in these games off the Xbox console for the longest, especially their mainline games. So, of course, Xbox fans are going to be happy about this. You finally get to get some of these PlayStation, these uh, Japanese games that's been attached to PlayStation for such a long time. So, they can try to shame you for it, but I'm not ashamed about it. I'm happy we're getting, like, these Persona games as well. These Persona games or any Yakuza games that's been attached to PlayStation and finally come to Xbox. So, I don't see why it's a bad thing to be happy about playing these classic games on your system or your platform of choice. Like, how is that a bad thing? These same dudes now pretend to love Final Fantasy now. Yes, because only PlayStation gamers like Final Fantasy. You just possibly can't have an Xbox and like Final Fantasy, according to these according to these numbnuts. Uh, let's This was my response when Sony fanboys were bragging about having Final Fantasy fourteen. Their anti subscription services were praised idea for paying for one game monthly. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. They play Elder Scrolls Online. Another thing as well, too. I think you gotta pay for Elder Scrolls Online monthly, so it's the same thing. Um... Like, once again, I just don't see how people can turn this into a negative. Like, this is just good news. But leave it to the Sony fanboys to turn this into a negative. To, make, to be so salty and buttered about this. It's like, geez. Blood is mad that PlayStation will be losing more of their crappy timed exclusives. I think that's what it is at the end of the day. That that leverage that Sony had by having these exclusives. Especially Square Enix exclusives tied to their platform, they start losing in that uh, that the relationship they have with Square Enix. Sony's losing that relationship, and Microsoft's relationship with Square Enix is getting stronger. So, I think that's what this is all about. People butthurt about this. It's like uh... yeah. So I'm gonna conclude it right here. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Xbox games should still be happy about this. It's like we get to try a experience that a lot of us didn't try before with Final Fantasy uh, 14. So, don't have these people shame you for wanting to play this game and say just because they say it's been out for a long time. And it's like these big remakes that remake the original game has been out for a while too. And it's just like a lot of people play those games for the first time. It's the same for Final Fantasy 14. It's like it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and then do a stupid comparison by saying you guys didn't play Crisis Core when it's like. We didn't have the original games. So Why don't we play Crisis Core? That makes no sense. But definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Who would have thought the Sony fanboys would be salty about this? But, you know, I should have done it on the back of my, I should have done it on the back of my mind. The Sony fanboys would make a big deal about this. And somehow be salty about this news. <laughs> it's never a dull day with these Sony guys. But definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. And it's always thanks for watching. And peace.